Hey YouTube, we're going to show the inside of the coach this time. Um, it's been a while, so I'm sure you guys are wondering what it looks like. Anyway, start over here. This is the gear closet um, where we store all of our gear or something, our gear that fits in there. <clears throat> this is our other closet for our clothes. More clothes down here, shoes. Go over to the bathroom here. I'll let you walk in there. We've got storage here, um, toiletries, all kinds of stuff. Um, we have our chem toilet. It's a Dometic. We like it. Uh, we use it, and we generally dump in dump stations or porta potties. Uh, it's got a fully functioning shower with water heater that we never use. As you can see, we just store gear in it, so I'm probably going to build a gear closet there. Also, a ton of storage under the tub. Uh, we keep our chairs and slack line and stuff like that under there. Um, this is the beginning of the kitchen. We've got food storage here, food storage here, water storage here with uh, jet boil, our daily lattes. We don't sacrifice those. We've got our fridge. This fridge is pretty new to us. We had a, um, a a dorm fridge in here at one point. The dorm fridge wasn't cutting it on the solar, so we got this deal stocked with beer and bell peppers. And with our 400 amp hour setup, it won't even dent it. We can run about four days in the shade with no sun, no problem. So that's a big upgrade for us. Uh, this is all food up to about here. And then it's like a box of mayonnaise and appliances. Yeah, a box of mayonnaise. And uh, that was before we had a good fridge. And this, uh, <laughs> this storage cabinet here is kind of a cool story. This is something that Lizzie's had for a long time and has been sticker bombing since she was a kid. There's some good ones. $60 an eighth is a crime. We can't really get rid of it. Bong loading is not a crime. <laughs> anyway, it rolls out. It's an island. So she's got a countertop that's a little bit lower than my countertop. Um, also, under the sink, we store a lot of stuff. I'm not going to open it because it'll scare you. But for the most part, it's like stuff that would be in a normal sink, but it's smaller. So it takes up all the room. This is where we keep all of our like pots and pans, our stove, uh, Ninja, all that stuff. I should use the poles I made. And this is where our plates are. Silverware. Water filter parts, apparently. Here we keep uh, mostly tools. Stuff that we don't need to get to all the time because we have to move this ladder to get to it. We built this ladder also. No screws, just joinery. Pretty cool. It has these little hooks. So it hooks up on here. Like so. The bed up above, super comfortable. Seriously, haven't slept in any other bed other than a tent in the last year. It's that comfortable, even when we're in relatives' houses. Um, underneath the bed is our cab, our Frankenstein cab. This, uh, I'll do another video on the motor build of this thing because it's kind of an interesting story. Um, but as you can see, we've got a really crude gauge cluster and like wires hanging out and it's pretty uh, Mad Max. Um, but it's got everything we need. Um, all the gauges are mechanical and we trust them. So they're staying there. This is our wood stove. Functioning, dry heat. Um, we do use a propane heater sometimes, but generally that's, that's the way we like to go if, if feasible. Um, we kept a couple knickknacks here too. This is uh, I build rock cairns. That's where the name "Follow the Cairns" comes from. Um, so we kept one. That's the one we haven't sold. Um, also, 
the books kind of deserve some attention. Um, originally, I gave Lizzie this space for books. Uh, she wasn't happy with that, so she filled up this thing in the back of this couch, and then we put this in, and then she filled up under the mattress. I mean, there's like, there's probably like 600 pounds of books in here. That's our main, main like source of weight. So you're, it's cool. you're exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> I might be exact. I'm not exaggerating. 600 pounds. I'm sticking with it. It's cool though. It keeps her busy. <laughs> anyway, uh, this um, couch pulls out to a bed. It just kind of slides out. This whole deal comes out. I'm not going to do it. It's a pain in the ass. It's not a pain in the ass, but you know it'll be out. Um, if we remove the cushions, we just stack them over here on the ladder. Then this whole deal hinges up, and there's a storage underneath. We keep our air conditioner under there. Uh, there's more books and uh, some rafts, things like that. Um, up here, starting from here would be like linens. Uh, we keep our um, laptops up here also, and some of our stuff in here as well under lock and key. And then um, Lizzie's crochet stuff and sewing stuff. She likes to do that on the road too. She made this cool little jellyfish the other day with a stash spot. So dope. If you want one, maybe she'll make you one. You have to say something in the comments. That's the coach. Um, I'm sure you probably got questions and I missed something, so leave a comment and I'd be happy to talk about it. Thanks.